Hi, in this video, I'll talk about a few things you may not know about slide zoom in PowerPoint. First of all, where is slide zoom used? Slide zoom is usually used to give a macro view of the subject before delving into micro view in a presentation. Let me explain. Let us say you have a presentation like this. We have a title slide and the topic is divided into four subsections and each of the subsections is shown like this with a section title and then we have the content for the specific section shown. Now, one way of presenting this is you go to slideshow, show the title slide, then click and keep moving forward like say this is the section title and we have a few slides in that section and then go to the next section and so on. But then a much better way to present this is to give a macro view to the audience so they can understand your topic in a better way. If I were to make the presentation, then I would use summary zoom to add an agenda slide. Let me show you what I mean by that. Let me click on title slide and then go to zoom and click this option here called summary zoom. As soon as I clicked on summary zoom, you can see that we have an overview of all the slides that are there in the deck. I can choose just the slide titles like here, section one, section two, section three, section four, and I can say insert. And right below the title slide, I have the summary section. And you can see how the entire slide deck is organized, which is quite nice here. We have a title slide, we have a summary section, which is like an overview of the entire presentation, which is divided into four subsections. And each of the subsections is shown clearly and organized neatly. So even if you were to take a look at the slide sort of view, you know how the presentation is organized. Now I can go to the summary section and give it a title, like say the four topics being discussed. Now I'm leaving the title to you. You can give whatever is more appropriate and the best part is when I go to slideshow, I can click on the first section and that takes me to section one and I can keep hitting enter or page down and I can explain my individual slides in that section and once all the explanation is over in section one, I automatically come back to this orientation slide. Let us say I want to skip to section three because that is what is the preference of the audience. I can click on section three and then I can go ahead and explain section three. And then when I hit enter, I come back to orientation slide. So I give the control to the audience to decide what they want to learn about in the presentation. Now, let me show you how I use slide zoom to present models. Let us say I have a set of slides to do SWOT analysis of a certain company. And I want to have those slides introduced in say section two, and let me keep it over here, right click and I've got already the set of slides that I want to present. And you can see that I have S here. All I had done is to change the slide background and I used single text box to make this. And that is how I created these. And these are the explanation slides for each of the individual characters that are shown here. Now, if I want to use slide zoom to present these four slides, the SWOT analysis in a very interesting way, then I can go to this slide, which I had created for this particular model. It has just a slide title. Now I can click and drag from this thumbnail view and move it to the slide area. You can see that I've got an instance of the slide shown here. The same way I can click and drag from this side and I'm almost creating the same two by two matrix, but this time I'm doing it manually. So I have this used for presenting a model. Let us do that for T as well. And I can present it like this. And now I have a beautiful model and I can work with these explanations just the way that I did earlier. Let us go to slideshow for this particular slide. When I click on this, I will be taken to S. And then when I click enter, I can get the explanation. And then in this case, there is a difference. When I click enter, I go to the next slide instead of going back to the orientation slide. So in this, I need to do one small little thing to ensure that I go back to the orientation slide every time. I need to do that using hyperlink. So I go to this slide, which is the explanation for S. I insert a shape. I can do that by going to insert shapes and pick up any shape. In this case, I'm going to pick up this isosceles triangle and I'm going to rotate it this way. And then maybe I can use black color and no outline just for cleaning this up a little bit. And then I can press control K 
which is the shortcut for hyperlink. Then I go to place in this document and then I can choose the specific slide it leads to. In this case, it is slide number nine. So let me go to slide number nine overview of the model and I say, okay. Now, when I click this in the slideshow mode, it will take me to this slide, which is the overview of the model. Now I can select this, press Ctrl C to copy and then paste the same thing for each of those explanation slides. So once I finish explaining each of these characters, then I can go back to the orientation slide. And then as I did earlier, I can always create an icon here, like say a small circle. And then I can connect this to slide number 18, which happens to be the slide continuation. So I can go here and then click on this control K and then I go to slide 18 and say OK. Now let us go to this orientation slide. I click on S. I go to that specific slide. I give an idea of what this particular section is. And then when I click, I go to explanation. To go back to the orientation slide for this model, I click on this and that takes me here and I can keep presenting like this. So that is one way of using Zoom manually to present models. Now, let me show you something even more interesting. Let us say I don't want these explanation slides. I want to add this explanation right next to this individual characters. So I'm going to remove all these slides that I had for explanation of the individual characters. Now I want to write my explanation right next to these characters. So I'm going to move S to one side and let me add a text box and let us have some dummy text here. So I'm going to use the formula called equals lorem open bracket and close bracket and hit enter. And let me increase the font size to say 24. And it is present here. Now, instead of having additional slides for explanation, I have the explanation in the same slide itself. So it's much more convenient for me to present the information. Now I can do that for the other slides as well. So let me copy this by pressing Ctrl C and move this. I'm not going to repeat this for every one of those slides because you know how it is done. But the one thing that I want you to notice is this aspect here. If you see this orientation slide, whatever changes that were made here on this slide now reflects on this as well. And this is a very interesting and a unique characteristic of the zoom model. Let me do that for you here. Let us say O and you can see that the orientation doesn't have any character here or any uh, text here. Let me make the change like the way that I did earlier. Press Ctrl V to add my text and see the difference here. So let us go to slideshow. I can give an overview of the model like this. And then to make the audience read this text, I can click on it and you can see I can zoom into that specific slide. And then I can either use up arrow so I can go back to the orientation slide. Or if I want to have it in such a way that when I hit enter, I go back to this model, I can use a very interesting technique called coming back to zoom or return to zoom. So let me select this. Go to zoom and go to this option here called return to zoom. When I check that, let me go to this slide here and present. When I click here, I go to that specific slide, make the presentation. And when I hit enter, I go back to the orientation slide instead of going to the next slide. And that is because we had used return to zoom option. And this works only for the slides where such an option is used. For example, if I were to go to W and if I were to hit enter, you can see that it goes to the next slide. It doesn't go to the orientation slide. And that is because we had not used return to zoom for this particular slide. If I do that, go to zoom and click on return to zoom option. By the way, zoom is a contextual tab, which will come only when you click on the zoomed slide. Now, when I go to slide show, I click and when I hit enter, I go back to the orientation slide. So this is another thing that many presenters are not aware of. And these are some very interesting ways to present your information using slide zoom. Now, let me tell you something even more interesting. Let us say, instead of having this boring two by two matrix, I want to create a diagram. Let me show you what I mean. Let us say, say I have a, have a new slide and I want to insert a smarter diagram. And let us say I want to have a cause effect diagram and I'm going to use this one called as diverging radial and say, okay. Now in the center, I'm going to write cause and for each of these four circles, I want to have my slide zoom happening. Let me click outside. So you understand what I'm saying here. 
instead of this circle i can use this particular slide and you can see i am clicking and dragging here now this is a slide zoom now when i go to slideshow i can click on this and it takes me to that specific slide so i can have all my other wot here instead of these circles that is one way of doing it there is another interesting way you can do this and that is instead of having this as an image of the slide i can have it as an icon or a picture of my choice let me show you what i mean by this first of all let us have this a little more clean i am going to have just a space bar hit for each of them so all i have is just circles and let us make this beautiful a little bit more because i am that kind of a person who wants everything to be neat here so let me select this and as a colorful model we have something available now i want to have this particular slide zoomed slide here converted into an icon so instead of this i'm going to right click and say change image and i'm going to choose from icons since i'm using office 365 i have access to the icons here and instead of the regular slide i want to use something to represent strength this is just a demonstration so i'm going to use this and say insert and you can see that that particular image is now made into an icon i can reduce the size a little bit and place this inside the circle maybe it has some uh, background so let me select this let me go to shape outline and say no outline now that looks clean now when i go to slide show you can see that i have this icon when i click on that icon i can go to that specific slide so you can have an agenda slide with the icons of your choice and can make the audience go to the individual slides using the slide zoom option and finally let me tell you one more interesting thing that many presenters are not aware of when it comes to slide zoom and that is to change the duration of the transition for slide zoom to do that all you need to do is to select the specific object that you have the slide zoom for go to the zoom tab then you can change the duration here and make it slower or faster if you want the transition to be faster naturally you will reduce the duration to say 0.5 seconds or whatever is the time and if you want it slower you can increase it to 0.1.25 or 1.5 it is completely up to you so the option is available here for you and if at any point of time you want to change the look and feel of these slide zoom object you can do so as well let me select this go to zoom and i can choose something different like say for example i can use something like this or this or this to shape the way the slide zoom appears on the orientation slide so go ahead and explore the various options available for you to use zoom styles and see which one works best for you if you want to learn such interesting powerpoint tips and tricks then i highly recommend that you join our free snackable powerpoint course this is a short free email course with 10 super short emails with step by step video tutorials each one explaining one useful skill so every day for 10 days you will have 10 new skills added to your repertoire so by the time you finish this course you will have a little better understanding of powerpoint and you can use it with more confidence so click on the link in the description box below the video and join this free snackable powerpoint course and talking of zoom there is a very interesting technique that involves actually zooming into a certain picture i've created this particular video called magnifying lens zoom effect in powerpoint where you can zoom into a specific area of a slide and it is a very interesting effect i will leave a link to that effect right now on your screen you can click on that video and watch that and learn this useful technique and impress your audience i'll see you inside that video next